Thank you. So a big factor behind these rip currents is actually Hurricane Barrel. So the storm just moved through the Caribbean. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Thompson joins us now again. So Jess, how long will this sort of beach condition last for? I, I do think as we get closer towards the rest of the weekend, at least uh, on the east coast of Florida, we'll yeah. start to see some improvements. Okay. But uh, you should always be mindful of yeah. rip currents. And uh, in terms of how they form, it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. So we all know the sandbar. Uh, that's when we ex we see those at the beach a lot of times and that's essentially where uh, we have that bar of sand it sounds pretty redundant but we have that bar of sand but when we have rip currents essentially what happens is we have the waves crashing out uh, ahead of that sandbar so closer to the shoreline specifically but the thing is the water has to flow back out and so what essentially happens is uh, th the water looks for a low or a weak point in that sandbar and it rushes out because a lot of water is trying to escape and that forms a very fast current what we call a rip current and these can move at a speed as high as one to two feet per second. And I was even doing some research according to the National Weather Service. Some of them can move as fast as around seven or eight feet per second. So that just lets you know uh, how powerful these can be at times. But it's really important to remember to swim parallel to the shore because it will pull you out, but it's not going to pull you under as Morgan Parish has been saying all morning long. And you want to swim parallel because eventually you will find yourself out of that rip current and you won't have to fight it because it is a very strong current and it's not widespread either. These are usually very narrow channels of water that pull you out. So uh, just some really important factors to keep in mind because today we do have that high risk of rip currents along the beaches and officials are, are really urging folks to uh, not get in the water if possible. Maybe just dip your toes in the sand or in the water if you're getting a little hot today. But uh, regardless, really important information to know. All right, Deborah, I'll send it back over to you.